Fox 29's Nelaine Lewis went out to gauge people's interest in seeing those pictures. What did you find? Well, Lauren, very interesting afternoon. We didn't find a whole lot of people who were eager to see the pictures, but just about everyone we talked to said they had their own unique reasons for not wanting to see them. I don't think it really would make a difference whether we saw the picture or not. I don't, I don't see the point because if they said he was killed, then he was killed. But, you know, sometimes they lie, but maybe, maybe. We've been hearing about him so long, you know, the last 10 years, 10, 10 15 years, you know. It just was satisfy my mind. I feel that it will be a wrong impression on children, you know, particularly a young boys. I think as a French citizen, I do not care about seeing him dead. I think Picture. it will offend um, Muslims, I should think. Um, and it's not, it won't be a pretty sight. Now, earlier this afternoon, we spoke with Joy San Rodak, whose husband was killed on 9-11. She told me that she wants to see every picture and learn about every detail regarding the mission that led to uh, the capture and killing of Osama bin Laden. Coming up in the 6 o'clock hour, we're going to hear a little more from her as well and her thoughts on the president's visit to New York City on Thursday. Lauren, back to you. All right, Lene, thank you for that update. We appreciate it. Now the other big... Fox 29's Lene Lewis joins us now. Lene, I know you spoke with a family of a 9-11 victim today. Do they want to see these pictures? Yes, Thomas, absolutely. We spoke with uh, Joyce Ann Roback, and uh, she says that she would absolutely love to see these pictures and absolutely know every single detail possible in the mission that uh, led to the capture and killing of Osama bin Laden. She also told me today that she believes the president's visit to New York City on Thursday is absolutely appropriate. Now, uh, Joyce Ann Rodak lost her husband John in the September 11th attacks and says that if she gets an invitation to this event, she would love to be there and she would love to shake the president's hand and say thank you. Thank you mostly because now, she says, her girls feel safe and also because justice was done. They were young when this happened. They were 10 and 5 years old. And I remember many times when they would hear things, not that I let them watch the news a lot, but whenever they would hear things on the news that had to do with terrorism or at school, they were always fearful. That this man now, Rodak said that she believes uh, this event on Thursday with the president in New York City, uh, she believes that the crowds will feel absolute elation that he is there and uh, there will be a celebratory mood because of this latest news of Osama bin Laden's death and uh, she would love to be there again saying that she would love to shake the president's hand and say thank you. Back to you Thomas. Yeah, certainly a major accomplishment. I want to talk a little bit more about the victim's wife in these photos. Does she want to see the photos for proof or just as final closure? You know, it has a lot to do with closure as far as the sense that I got from her in the conversation that I had this afternoon. Uh, obviously, it's been a very tough time. It's a pain that, as we've heard over and over again, will never go away. Um, but she's curious. She wants to know because it took so long to get to this day. She appreciates the president's promise. She appreciates that he followed through on that promise. And she just wants to know everything um, as part of closure, you might say, and uh, just saying, look, you know what, this is a major step. We've been waiting for this for a long time. and. Uh, you know, it's very personal, obviously, sure. um, and she just wants to know. We're still waiting to find out so. whether or not the White House will release those photos. Lene Lewis reporting tonight. Lene, thank you.